going on guys? Dub Nation is back. We are back, baby. And my God, has it been a crazy few days, a crazy week. 2020 is really coming to its pinnacle, isn't it? So, where did we leave off? We left off. Uh, President Trump was doing a town hall and Joe Biden was doing a town hall because the nonpartisan debate commission decided that uh, decided more than a week in advance that the president was not going to be able to be around people he'll still be infectious they used their uh, extensive medical and infectious disease background and experience to determine that the president would still be infectious so nobody could be around him so they canceled no excuse me they they changed the second debate to a zoom format okay now the obvious problem with that is somebody could easily just be getting the answers right here see you know you guys can't see what i'm doing with my hand can you over here, uh, yeah. See, we know we're not stupid. So obviously, the president, President Trump, he's not down with that. He didn't want any part of that stupid Zoom crap because he knew that he doesn't get a fair shake in person. He's not gonna get. He's gonna be ten times worse on Zoom. He didn't, he's not going for it. He knew they would mute him. The whole nine yards. The media is exploding right now i can't tell you i mean if you just peel back one layer of this country the peel back one layer of the onion that is this country and man it is about to explode it is boiling okay it is boiling the, that the onion is rotten to the core the media everything that is happening in the country is boiling up and it's really coming to a head with this election boy boy oh boy well, we we need Trump to win and let me tell you something I was happy with his town with his town hall performance he walked into a damn buzzsaw with this hack of a of a objective journalist Savannah Guthrie who just berated him and asked them absurd BS about QAnon and the Proud Boys. All of a sudden, the media does what they do best. They, uh, you know, pin certain labels onto certain things. Like now the Proud Boys are some vicious KKK-like organization when, you know, they're not uh, Boy Scouts. Okay. But oh, for us to have to condemn them, like they're the, like they're uh, the KKK, is not nonsense. So they put pin these labels on on shit. They make bo these, these boogeymen out of nothing. Okay, like QAnon too. Like who who are Q, who is QAnon hurting? Put let's put it that way. We already went over about how a lot of the things about with QAnon are just over the top. We went over that already. We don't have to go back there. But who, let's, who are they actually hurting? Nobody. Well, they, they, they don't like sex trafficking. They don't like human trafficking. Yeah. That's hurting a lot of people. Right? Yeah. That's because we're, they, they want to stop that. So anyway, before we, I digress, let's get into the town halls. So instead of the debate, NBC and uh, ABC had each booked the candidates for their own town hall. President Trump was fine. He could have easily debated. He was cleared to be around people by several different doctors. He was around the people at NBC in a big town hall. So this was all crock of shit. The amount of people running interference for Joe Biden at this point is legitimately and literally too long 
to name, too long to list. So President Trump has this town hall with Savannah Guthrie, and Joe Biden is with the, again, pinnacle of objective journalism, George Stephanopoulos. Biden's town hall was the most boring sack of crap I've ever seen in my life. And President Trump actually defended himself well. He carried himself well. He was interrupted a million times by this pig reporter who's a, just a, a partisan hack, a partisan slob going on about... He didn't, he didn't even allow the audience to ask him a question for like 20 minutes. It was just a debacle. And listen, this is why I'm going to... I'm going to... die. Uh, diverge from people like Ben Shapiro. I watch Ben all the time. He's very, very good. Ben is, you guys know I like Ben. But I'm I'm separating from him here. He was still critical of Trump during the town hall. I'm like, how much, what more do you want from this guy in that, in that kind of situation? He handled himself well. Defended himself well. He answered questions. He got specifics in he got to some policy he was able to hit biden on, on his policy and uh it was good so that was there and that he needs to continue that for this last debate there's so much riding on this last debate he needs to carry himself like state of the union trump and then throw jabs in there okay not come in there like a bull in a china shop trump Okay, people are just too sick and tired of the, 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 too much of the craziness and not enough presidential. So, mix of the two and he'll be okay. Attacking Dr. Fauci, it's useless right now. I, I, I'm sick and tired of seeing Fauci's face as much as anybody. But you gotta be, we have to be smart and I'm gonna tell, we're gonna get into exactly why now. It's, and I get it, everybody will, most of you watching this, at least, including me, probably like when Trump trolls the media. You like when Trump hits back at people, even like even Dr. Fauci, because Fauci's a, a clear partisan when he's supposed to be an infectious disease doctor only. He's been wrong on everything. I, I made one of my first videos was directed to Dr. Fauci to do better, to do, do his damn job. This guy's got everybody, he's got us locked down. All of us locked down. We can't do anything. Can't go to work. Can't feed our families. People are lines of food banks miles long. And he's just like, oh, yeah, I know it's inconvenient to lock down. Ooh, his, his eyes is like this, this oh, eyes are open like this much. It's like, dude, my God, dude, get a thicker pair of glasses. I can't stand looking at your eyelids anymore. So he's got us all locked down for now. New Jersey and New York, we're still locked down. We're still in some form of lockdown. The WHO just came out last week and said under no circumstances, um, under almost no circumstances, should a nation should, should a nation lock down to combat the coronavirus now. Had you said that like a week ago, you would have been banned by YouTube Facebook, Twitter, and the other monsters. And that's what we're going to start getting into. So before we go any further, guys, please, please do me a favor. Subscribe. Okay. We're going to start. We're going to, we're going to get everybody daily content. You know, YouTube is not sharing this little channel. And again, especially after what we just saw, what we're seeing right now, you know they're not sharing this channel. So please, subscribe, like, share. Please, all content like it. So what happened? The big story now. We'll put it in a nutshell because everybody's probably pretty well versed in it by now. Some computer repairman in Delaware had somebody bring in some laptops for repair to him. The way it works is you, uh, you know, it's almost like a pawn shop, actually. 
you know, similar of uh, the abandonment law. I mean, you bring it in. You say, yeah, 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 fix this. Thing. You sign an agreement. If it says if you don't come and get your stuff after 90 days, you forfeit that stuff and it becomes the property of the owner. Why? Why is that? Because the guy did the work and fixed the computers. But you didn't come back and pay him for it. So now he gets the property as payment for his services. That's what happened. This guy in Delaware who owns his own computer repair shop had somebody bring in laptops to him for repair. He fixes them. The guy never shows up again. Time goes by. Those are his now. He looks at them. Holy shit. These are Hunter Biden's computers. Hunter Biden's computers. What are the chances? Sounds fishy, right? I know. What are the chances? This this freaking guy. So, he goes through everything, and there's a lot of shady crap on here. Okay? He finds out there's some actual evidence linking... Hunter and his father, Joe Biden, to Burisma, to payments from Burisma, meetings. Okay. Remember, Joe Biden said he's never spoken with his son about his foreign job and his foreign deals. Never even spoke to him about it. Nobody bought that except these psychos on the left who will refuse to admit any semblance of reality now there's emails emails from these people at Burisma saying Hunter thank you thank you for inviting me to DC giving me the opportunity an opportunity to meet your father and spend some time together it's really an honor and pleasure as we spoke yesterday evening would be great to meet today for a quick coffee what do you think I could come to your office somewhere around noon or so before on my way. This is Vadim Pozaharsky. So the guy sees all different kinds of craziness like this, among many other things, which include Hunter Biden in a million different types of pictures, doing drugs, engaging in tons of different sex, sex acts and pictures, pornographic pictures on there and it really it really portrayed how intensely and how badly Hunter Biden is is just a, a terrible terrible addict I mean the worst of the worst and even him even you know Biden you know it's, you don't want to make fun of somebody for that and, and exploit somebody for that. You don't want to do that because that's not funny. It's not a joke. This dude is a really messed up guy. and He's, he's tormented and he deserved and he, he needed, rather, I mean, serious, serious help and intervention. Serious, serious help and intervention. But that's not what he got. So he saw that and he called the FBI. Called the FBI. He said, look at this crap I got on this computer. This was Hunter Biden's. The FBI takes it. He doesn't hear back from him, from the FBI at all. Now, this is over a year goes by. Luckily, this crafty old fox copied all the hard drives. He didn't hear anything about this. So then he says, let me call America's mayor. Let me get in touch with his lawyer he sends all this stuff to Rudy Giuliani's lawyer okay so Giuliani now obtains all this information and it is jam-packed I mean he is still slow rolling more and more evidence to this day and this started almost a week ago now He's still slow rolling it to this day. I listen to his podcast every single day here in New York, WABC, because he lets out just a little bit more information every day. And people had written off Giuliani as like he's way past his prime. He's gotten a little crazy now. You know, he, he was great for not, during 9-11, but now he's crazy Rudy. 
No. He might be a little bit more off the wall now in his older in his in his later years, but we're talking about the man that single handedly took down the Italian mafia. Okay, this guy knows his stuff. To make a long story short, he completely verified that this is Hunter Biden's laptop. Those are his pictures. Those are his emails. It has been independent, independently corroborated now by other people that were in the emails. They said, yes, this is him. So now everybody, everybody's got this. He's slow rolling it out. He's slow rolling the information out. There's other information that there's more deals with China. Joe Biden was using his son Hunter as a bag man. Okay, so basically he was putting his son, getting his son these lucrative jobs and positions at Burisma. He was making all these foreign deals, getting paid here, paid for this, paid for that, paid for, paid for influence and this and that. And then he had a kickback, half of his salary to his father. And there's some really sad correspondence between Hunter Biden and his own daughter about how, you know, he's always had to help finance the family and uh, but don't and then he's you know going on and said but don't worry unlike pop i won't make you give me half of your salary and then there's other correspondents and emails saying yeah we're gonna hold 10 percent for me hold 10 percent for this guy and hold 10 percent for the big guy the big guy being biden so there's all this kinds of craziness out there and it is so damning, so damning, and it's confirmed what we thought for a long time. They impeached tr Trump over nothing, or when Biden is it's got a legitimate scandal. This is a serious, serious thing. Now, not to mention Hunter Biden's lawyer called. Giuliani's lawyer and said, hey, can I have Hunter's laptop back? He actually did that. So the media the whole time, as you can imagine, they're saying this is false. It's fake news. It's not true. It's, it's not verified. Keep that word in mind, guys. It's not verified. Keep that in mind because we're going to get to the crux of the, <laughs> of the whole insanity it's not verified it's not true dude this guy's lawyer just called in and said hey can we have our laptop back please uh he just remembered he forgot it the dude biden hunter biden was such a terrible fall down addict that he did what addicts often do is just drop things and leave things there and not follow through with anything it's very common it's not outside of the realm of possibility at all for anybody that's ever known an addict or has been around one or knows that kind of behavior at all, it doesn't take a, a, an addiction specialist to know that. That you know something comes up, you you, you know you're he's maybe he's sober thirty days, gets his trying to trying to get his computers fixed, and all of a sudden three days later he falls off the wagon and he's living in a crack den again, and then those computers just are a uh, distant memory that he can't access anymore. Okay, so. The guy, guy's lawyer calls back and asks for the laptop's back. Can you believe that? Guys, this is not the story. This is not the story, and this is not the, this is not the problem. 